title to our name was split, we held equitable title to the whole estate. So we own 100% equity in the legal person, the trust and the estate. And equity is king of the court. Oh, that is ringing, bear with me. Okay, I'm back. I had to go and let me, uh, good lady, in and go to the toilet. Right. Sorry about this, guys. Where did I get to? And freedoms to obligations and duties. The solution is to simply reboot trustee status, and this is how the government ever only holds legal title to anything. So they are the inferior trustee. When our birth was registered and title to our name was split, we held equitable title to the whole estate. So we own 100% equity in the legal person, the trust and the estate. I know I'm repeating. And the estate, the and equity is king of the court, and it's the king's court. So all is 100% our property. Now that is the power. Any of our mistakes can be forgiven. The government owns nothing. Legal title confers only a trustee or fiduciary position. Fiduciary, remember that and look at that one. That's interesting. As we hold equitable title to the estate, we have all the power, but we must claim it. Silence is consent, yes, and uh, the law is an ass in their world so you must rebut trustee status and all their claims become false now we will talk about this on july the 29th at the uh, seminar and we'll talk about the notice of intent and statutory declarations and um, these kind of documents of which you can serve where you serve them you write them out by hand how to lay them out how to get them uh, notarized who to notarize them all this kind of stuff these are the basics that we need people to start teaching other people i can't be responsible for it i am not giving you legal advice we are simply exploring as a society under the creator what our options are under natural law before we submit comply or even dis you know even contemplate contracting and taking up liability using the legal name of which you're only just finding out that you are as well as you are um, a living body flesh you know and blood life of a sheep this is a someone else but i can't read that it's too long um your notice of improval rights no that's stuff i'm not going to read your case law let's read you a bit of this um it's from one of my members, a man called David, DR, initials DR, you know who you are DR, fist bumps. In 1800, the world was bankrupt, the debts went on to the people, all natural resources went to the people. Always ask for paper bill because you get a gyro credit slip at the bottom of the, bottom of the bill. Look at the Bills of Exchange Act 1882, the company has been paid by the commercial bank, cash the cheque, banks don't recognise it as my cheque, give the cheque back, not transferable, postage stamps, autograph, transferred by endorsement, sticker, to British Gas, for payment at the site for sum of X pounds, transferred by David Jeremita, address postcode, national insurance number, non-commercial, um, Consumer Credit Act, section 123 paragraph 5, have a look at that. They have already been paid, they can't cash it because they would be double dipping. Um, Bill of Exchange Act 1882, Consumer Credit Act 1974, Section 123. A creditor or owner shall not take a negotiable instrument other than a banknote or cheque in discharge of any sum payable um, by the debtor or hired under a regulated agreement or or by any person as surety in relation to the agreement, the creditor or owner shall not negotiate a cheque taken by him in discharge of a sum um, payable as mentioned in subsection 1, except to a banker within the meaning of the Bills of Exchange Act 1882. The creditor or owner shall not take a negotiable instrument as security for the discharge of any sum payable as mentioned in subsection 1. A person takes a negotiable instrument as security for the discharge of a sum. If the sum is intended to be paid in some other way, a negotiable instrument is to be presented for payment only if the sum is not paid in that way. This section does not apply where the regulated agreement is non-commercial agreement. The Secretary of State may order, may by order provide that this section shall not apply where the related agreement has a connection with a country outside of the United Kingdom. So, what everyone has forgotten is who and what they truly are is unlimited in all things and that you have, you have all and full power. Surprise! That's what you do, that's what you have and authority as power of attorney. Also, one is executor and you hold all the credit and is also the beneficiary to the trust, asset, estate. There has been no money for somewhat 300 years. All banknotes are useless bits of paper. If they stay, you 
your promissory note is, to which it is not, as you have a wet ink signature and date upon it, banknotes do not. This is the promissory note in the original form of payment that is the blueprint from past and present and all future payment in cash, which is in fact an IOU. It is what a promissory note is, the same as all banknotes are all one and the same as the banknote came from the promissory note. And the most important thing for ev that of all that everyone has forgotten is good lord it's hard work isn't it all in offices and any offices civil and public servants offices banks as well are all on on each man and women in offices are all fiduciaries to which have certain privileges these are on these are only three things that they're allowed to do and that is duties obligations and responsibilities towards beneficiary and take all order from the executor whom is also has to hold full power of attorney. One has to know whom and what they truly are and what all this is connected with, including copyright. See what I mean about being fragmented and it's not just literally one topic what you can pick up and then move on because it includes copyright, trademark, trade name and everything else that comes with it. One has to know their own status and standing in law as all in offices are fiduciaries then I would like someone to explain to I how a fiduciary who is in my fiduciary office can make laws upon I to this day none in office can answer this very simple question because they are all all fiduciaries they are in a, um, official um, appointed wards of the state in the capacity of they are not in a sovereign capacity they are under license and appointed and working in commerce for of corporation there are no m women in the houses of parliament let's get some in Oh, wow. So Article 6, the right to a fair trial in the determination of his civil rights and obligations or of any criminal charge against him, everyone is entitled to a fair and public hearing within a reasonable time by an independent and impartial tribunal established by law. Judgment shall be pronounced publicly by the press and public may be excluded from all or part of the trial in the interest of morals. Public order or national security in a democratic society where the interests of juveniles or the protection of private life, it's normally family law this one, of the parties so require or the extent strict necessary. In the opinion of the court, in special circumstances where pu publicity would prejudice the interests of the case. Protocol for the section 151 officer. Oh, we got it's still not an hour yet. The 151 chief financial officer works at the council. We investigate him. These is uh, statutory responsibilities the responsibilities of the chief financial officer role rest with the director of resources who is on the council's section 151 officer the overriding duty of the chief financial officer is to fulfill the statutory responsibilities attached to the position in a manner that enhances the overall reputation of the council the chief financial officer's statutory duties de derive from the six principal sources of law set out below case law in Attorney General versus D. Winton, 1906, it was established that the Treasurer is not merely a servant for the, of the Council but holds a fiduciary relationship to the local taxpayers. Responsible Finance Officer, Section 151 of the Local Government Act, 1972, requires every Council in England and Wales to make arrangements for the proper administration of their financial affairs and shall secure that one of their officers has responsibility for the, for the administration of those affairs. Legal opinion taken states from the term administration means responsibility for managing the totality of the finance affairs of a local council in all of its dealings. The officer appointed as the responsible chief finance officer must by section 113 of the Local Government Finance Act 1988 be a member of a specified accountancy body. The statutory role must be performed by an officer under the council unlawful expenditure and an unbalanced budget. The chief financial officer's duties are significantly extended by section 114 of the 1998 Act which requires a report to all members to be made by that officer in consultation with the monitoring officer and head of paid service if there is one or is likely to be. Unlawful expenditure or an unbalanced budget, section 114 requires that the council to provide its chief financial officer with such staff, accommodation and other resources as are in his opinion sufficient to allow his duties under that section to be performed. 
when a decision may involve unlawful expenditure or loss of deficiency in an unlawful item or account as a result of the exercise of executive functions then the chief financial officer must submit his or her report to the executive he must also send copies of the report to every member of the council and the external auditor interesting your section 151 none of this are all my words these are just snips and things that i've done keyword searches in my group and um i'm just reading some out now because i need to i want to go through some stuff i want you to hear some stuff i want you to see i want you to know what you can come and see on the 29th i want you to know what you're worth what you're capable of i know i speak quick and i know i speak fast but you can pause this you can use a pen and paper and go back and rewind i've got a finite amount of time on this planet and i'm on my day off and it's already 20 to 3 and you know i, I need help i've got too many jobs um, I don't prioritise, I just get on with it, I just do it. I used to do what um, Mr Brother Morris said and prioritise and once you sit there doing that and taking your time and it's just get on with it, boom, let's go. Energy is apparent, isn't it? The creator gives it me. Third party, with corporate letter, you don't need to know about that. We can give you them. What's all this stuff? It's brilliant. And it's read you something that people are sharing. This had a massive share in my group. I wrote this when I was um, in Greece seeing my uh, family, sorting stuff out. And um, um, this is a really emotional because it was the inner workings of my mind. It's taken from a man, um, Carlos Banacci, Santos Banacci, Santos Banacci, Carlos. Oh, my God. Um, 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 um. When you go to court today, it's all about commerce. The Phoenicians and commerce are all connected today. The word phony, when someone's called a phony, it comes from Phoenicia, phonetics, language and the alphabet. It went to Greece and Rome. It comes from Phoenicia. The Assyrians, the Babylonians and the Greeks hated the Phoenicians. The Phoenicians were tin trading with England 3,000 years ago. They uh, set up and destroyed Carthage in Italy. There were many battles to destroy Phoenicia. Alexander the Great dealt with, uh, with Phoenicia, the Phoenicians. He went to Venice and um, they, uh, yeah, he dealt with Phoenicians. Um, Alexander the Great, his adopted son, um, I can't think of that one's name now, and the Phoenicians then went to Venice, yeah, and they became the Venetians, like the blinds. When Rome was sacked, they all went to Venice, the black nobility, they found Venice on the water, just like Phoenicia on the water. I'm giving you history, but I'm giving it you summarised and that you can get enough to get to know where you need to be, to go and source and outsource and research and validate all the points and things that you may be noticing, hearing, writing down or recognising or having things fall into place. The Venetians went across Europe and married into the royal bloodlines. They had lots of bullion because they were the one merchant trading. This is where the merchant law, merchant trainings and things like that happen. They had lots of bullion. They then found the Jesuits. The Jesuits run the world. They are guilty. Dogs, trafficking and drug dealing. The royal monarchies are mixed up in this. A lot of blood has been spilled. Even the Bible will tell you. The death of God's witnesses. Their death, the bloods of their, of their bodies will go up the nose of the, uh, of the killers the uh, victors. Rome founded Paris, Rome founded London, they are all Roman corporations. L London, the city of the Lord or L, the sun or Saturn. Paris, Swiss for Isis. And what do you find in the centre of Paris? Well you find the Notre Dame. And who is the Notre Dame? Isis. Now Rome is an interesting story because when good old Babylon was destroyed, the priesthood you know those cardinals, the guys dressed up in red, Babylon? Well that's the reason the whole thing is called Babylon the Great. Get out of her, my people, if you do not want to, sh to share with her in her sins, because you will. It's a system of shit served up as freedom. For you, what you can do is get a birth certificate if you want to join the corporation. And what that will do, will get you on board the great citizenship. What they have done is put you on their ship, their friendship, their citizenship. We think we have rights because we're on land. We have no rights that are creator given. The creator, the cause, the one with no name, unconditional consciousness, we are blissful, that is our true nature. So why are we all suffering and sick and on antidepressants and stressing out and drinking so much and dropping down with strange diseases, ailments, uh, CPD, breathing issues, smoking too much, suffering from seasonal effectiveness disorder, um, people getting uh, mental disorders and um, lots of more people now um, suffering from... Uh, 
it's just horrible the personality disorders caused by the phonetic language such as the word ab originally ab ab original yeah aborigine australia ab um not not of ab not an original original so aborigine the indigenous people of australia as uh, santos says and uh, as uh, michael mark christopher said um, with regard to the language, the phonetics, and the uh, you know the implied meanings and definitions, and the mental cognitive dissonance, cognitive dissonance from this, these were the ones, the Phoenicians. You can't have aborigine. It doesn't make sense. Two vowels before a consonant. Um, two consonants before a vowel. A B. Yeah, vowels. O consonant. Aborigine. Wrong. You can't be not original when you are the originals. So yes. Babylon, Cardinals, Babylon the Great, it's a system of shit, citizenship, they think you have rights, there are no rights, so why are we sick, because the system has got to go, Jack Fresco, the system has got to go, search that alone, Jack Fresco, the system's got to go, this shit's got to go, we think we have rights, we are the one going to bring... The system's got to go, the one we are going to bring down with our consciousness and by preaching to the world, peaceful non-compliance. Do not comply with these people, they are phonies. Because this system, no, this is a good old system they set up, they set up where we have no rights anymore. Do not go to court saying I have rights and God-given rights and inherent rights and constitutional rights, because you haven't, you have services, services and privileges. Search Black Dictionary, search Black Law Dictionary for what that means. I can hear Santos saying that now, his words echoing, I've memorised that video. We are all slaves on a slave ship. We can have privilege, we can go to jail. It's a benefit, to benefit the system, just like us paying tax to the monarchy. We are enslaved. When a child is born, it comes, comes through a birth canal. When a ship comes in from the high waters, from another land which has different laws and cannot trade with another country, unless it has maritime law, it comes in from the birthing canal. Birth, B-E-R-T-H, not B-I-R-T-H. And then it is docked. A doctor is present when a baby is born. That is the, the uh, docks. A certificate of manifest, a statement of life. Here is the baby. Then comes the baby's birth certificate. Bonded, it is his by the bondsman it is certified it was a statement of life of birth then the parents have informed of manifestations much like the boat's captain gives the boat's manifest to the port government certifies your birth certificate the bondsman now you are a citizen on their ship come on come on the waters they have put up all around the planet, around the world, as you see the little watermark two foot off the ground, that little bronze strip on the obelisks that um, around DC, Washington and London. That's the water they brought up. Today, wherever you see these pyramids, they rule. Washington DC, a monument, 666 foot, Y666, of granite. London has one and Rome has the largest natural obelisk in the middle of St. Peter's Square. Stolen from Cairo by Julius Caesar. Julian dynasty is the family that started these corporations. Julius and his adopted son Augustus. They were the first sons of gods allegedly. They were the ones to proclaim that they were the sons of gods. Um, to rule an empire and the republic went bye bye just like the vatican did 130 years ago in america in 1881 on the 21st of february the 1881 act it's an act they are acting the u.s is a corporation not the united states of america the republic and the christians have been led into thinking it's a christian country now the christians killed the indigenous inhabitants converting them to christ by the edge of the sword putting them into reservation camps Yes, a bit like the Aborigines, what's happened to the um, indigenous people of the Americas and the Indians and the Shaman. In reservation camps, we're at the foot around Mount Rushmore, addicted to alcohol, tobacco, smoking, gambling. Their natural way of life has been corrupted and destroyed and robbed. Criminals, the lot of them, bullies and murderers, the pioneers, no redemption at all. Consciousness must come to save this planet. What year did the United... Uh, that's something different. The Supreme Court is the highest court of government, not the land. The highest court of the land, the people of the land, is a common law court of record. Look at the County Court Act 1984. One act wholly in force on 1.8.1984, section 150. Every court so held shall be a county court and shall be a court of record and shall have a seal. So when did we become... 
So when did we become, can you show me when it was outlaw because I wish to make a claim against this constable who I believe has wronged me. Can you show me where it is written down that I can invoke common law court of record? Just ask the judge, can I appeal this case? If he says yes, then you're not in a common law court of record because once in a court of record, the case can never be appealed. Remember, the constitution is there to protect us from the government so it doesn't interfere with our rights. A right is something you have that cannot be taken away or submitted. You can contract it away. It's, yeah, you can submit it or contract it. You cannot have it taken away without your consent, without a pre-agreement, without the people agreeing to it. The council is not a court, nor does it have such powers to act as a court. The Local Government Act, 1888, Section 78. The Local Government Act, construction of acts referring to business transferred, subsection 2, provided that the transfer of powers and duties enacted by this act shall not authorise any county or committee member thereof to exercise the powers of a court of record or to administer an oath or to ex exercise any jurisdiction under the Summary Jurisdiction Acts or perform any judicial business or otherwise act of justices or a justice of the peace. So very important you quote this. Always quote this when attacking their unlawful processes. When you complain to the police regarding unlawful actions, the police under their common law oaths must investigate the complaint. Local Government Act 1888, an act to amend the laws relating to government in England and Wales and for other purposes connected therewith. Notice of jurisdiction. This hearing will take place in a common law court of record in compliance with the County Court Act 1984, wholly in force 1.8 1984, section 150. Every court shall be a court, county court and shall be a court of record and shall have a clear seal. So it's just repeating that bit, printed that twice. So we're at the end, hallelujah. One hour and eight, eight minutes over. I'm getting better. Um, enjoy that. Get rewinded, make some notes. Um, it's happening 29th of july we'll uh, give you an update as to the location we'll post the event um, nearer the date and get as many people as we can it's our first one we've been open since november 2015 we want people to join up with us we want to join up with other people um we are not experts or professionals we don't have all the answers you guys do um, the more of you that attend and make an effort in this, then the quicker and faster and more accurate we'll get stuff done. Like I say, we'll be having a laptop, we'll be having a projector, we'll get some seating, we'll um, pay for the venue out of our own pocket. We don't want any money. You may want to donate to the cause if you wish to donate. We've got a donation service which I don't hardly advertise. I'll re-advertise that near the time. Yeah, I'm going to start doing the t-shirts, the sovereign t-shirts. They're going to be finished off immensely soon. Um, the website I'm going to put endorsements on for uh, the people that are on Facebook in the groups I've been so busy with everything and helping and studying and learning and I've got canon law to take on next as well so for the understanding of not that I'm going to be using it just these ecclesiastical bodies and notices and things I want to have a look at um, and understand overstand and innerstand um, I need help, we need help in Sovereign Paralegals, get your asses in there please, if you can administrate, send me any uh, of your history, what your um, knowledge base is, what your experience is, if you've got any experience within the civil sector, within the government, within using codes, legislation, if you've ex-services, army and police are always good to hear, if you've got any family in the services, such as the police, that are um, constables, officers, G4S, policy enforcers, army sergeants, corporals, lance corporals, um, commanders, chief inspectors, um, no they're not, ex obviously, retired, and um, you would like to clear your conscience and balance the scales and favour karma in your way and undo some of the wrongdoings to the Anglo inhabitants of the landmass England, you want to try and redeem, redeem yourself and sal seek some salvation, then you may message us privately through the secure email on uh, www.sovereignparalegals.uk the email which is office 365 business encrypted secure is contact at sovereignparalegals.uk you've got the Facebook links and um, you've got the videos, references, documents search in Sovereign Paralegals for key words such as Bill, Act, Enforcement, Judge, Officer, Liability, Legalese, Strawman, Fiction, um, Two Dimension um, what else is there now? There's so many words um, CPR, Civil, Prosecute, um, Attorney um, contract, joinder, bills of exchange, bills of rights, um, 
declaration of uh, statement of truth, notice of intent, declaration, um, statutory declaration, anything you want, you get the idea. Not the main search box in Facebook, the little one in Sovereigns, and it will bring up all the previous posts, topics, discussions, PDFs, documents. We've also, last bit, 1 minute 11, um, 1 hour 11, We've created a document with members' names and geographical location for where they are in relation to the landmass England and um, they are the ones willing to take a message from somebody should a uh, bailiff try to enforce uh, action with or without the police at your property. So if anybody gets um, scary threats, demands, um, people that have created a stop and acquiescence and had a verbal cease and desist and are still coming around demanding monies with menaces and harassing you, terrorising you, um, get onto the uh, group, look at the files, look for the national sovereign list and you will find a list of fellow souls, womb men of the Anglo-English landmass and they will come to your aid hopefully um, physically or via the text message service that we've got, um, telephone calls and um, peace, love and light, boom. That was a massive one. Proud of that. You're doing good work, amazing work. Um, please keep up the work. Love and unite each other. Bring people together. Um, start holding weekly pop-up meetings on a Sunday. Find somewhere in your local area. Take someone with a van, a car, out of a car boot, any kind of literature, ideas, and um, feelings that you've got. Take some tea or something like that. Find a common, find a local pub that's got a free function room that will let you have the function room for free as long as you put X amount of heads in there to buy behind the bar. Do a deal with your local pub, your local cafes, um, not churches pubs i would advise not drinking at these events i'd have it informal i'd have children there relaxed family room get everybody together this involves all of us all of us that are on the poverty line all of us that hold jobs all of us that think we're middle class and that are safe all of us the whole brotherhood the whole family and the network is 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 uniting because at some point you all need law at some point you'll all need a solicitor at some point you'll all be in trouble and have a demand made upon you at some point the alleged black nobility will try to access your trust as a mercantile agent under trust law and get you to consent and claim that name and if you don't know what you're doing Lord help you, Creator help you, you have children on this planet and they've got a birth certificate, go and get it, go and read the message and warning on the bottom from the Crown Copyright Services that tell you that this document is not to be used as evidence of identity. Now ask yourself, why have we gone and done that? Why have this, why has it all happened? You can't explain all the things that we've talked about and that we're doing and that we know and that are working for us and applied principles. You know, you can't just say, it's a movement or it's a stupid idea or it's people not wanting to pay the bills because we offer to pay we have the money to pay this is the point it's not that we're not paying bills or we don't want to pay the bills we have the money to pay we make an offer under contract law of a conditional acceptance offer and then we ask for the proof you've got the demands as i've explained in all this so I've gone full circle. I haven't got all the answers. I don't know how to make a trust securely, but I've got a very good idea. We need trustees to step up. We need to do this and we're getting on it. There's no turning back. There's no stopping it. We're moving forward. We, we are joining forces. We are supporting each other. We admit when we make a mistake and when the, the, the process needs amending or the words need changing. I am run ragged. If I didn't have hair, I'd have pulled it out. I have a family to manage. And as um, it was said last night on the TV show, we need uh, help in the mass numbers of helpers now we need people to step forward that are brave enough to do videos to make posts to go out there and hand out things to make uh, videos on the street to make reports to do documentaries to make uh, the uh, the fellow brothers and sisters and our children are safe and and secure stable hey what's that sound like we want a stable and secure um sovereign nation of womb men that have their rights inalienable rights intact I love you guys. See you later. Peace and love.